Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, if you are waiting for what is 23H2, which by the way will possibly maybe turn on a few more features, but mostly will be a enablement package to change the Windows version to 23H2. Uh, so when you'll go to the WinVer command, you'll see that um, the 23H2 is what we're going to have on the uh, the computer as a build number. Uh, it will, of course, also give you 24 uh, months of support, which means anybody on 23H2 will be able to stay there for the next two years, which will bring us incredibly uh, to the end of support of Windows 10, which is going to be interesting to see. So um, there's a lot of server activity according to Desk Modder, one of the German... Uh, Twitter guys that actually looks at all sorts of things, Windows and Microsoft related. And um, some are thinking that maybe tomorrow, as we will be getting the bug fixes tomorrow for Windows uh, 10 and 11, that Windows 11 23H2 will be released at the same time tomorrow. Uh, so um, this is going to be interesting to see. I did think about it last week. I think I mentioned it in one of the videos that... Yeah, maybe tomorrow could be the day for 23H2, uh, but that also will be interesting because I will. Uh, I want to do kind of the overall of my unsupported hardware PC. I want to see if it will get 23H2 on its own first of all, and if not, um, we're going to. I'm going to do a, a an install, a clean install of of uh, Windows 11. Uh, probably 23H2 on it. Uh, we'll see how it actually arrives. But uh, some report is that it is going to be bundled with the uh, Windows 11 bug fixes tomorrow. So that's uh, something we'll be looking at. And of course, talking about, and if any new features are turned on with it, uh, we'll be talking about that also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.